If you want a million, you'll make a million, not a million five. If you want 10 million, 100 million. So you really want to get rich, right? Yeah, probably you, you might see a video online telling you that you can get rich quickly in the next seven days or in the next one week. Maybe I get some safety goggles next time. Uh. <laughs> Please don't buy into that. I know most of you guys have already buy into that and uh, at the end of the day, you lost your money in the process and you got scammed. Because of that, you lose hope, you lose motivation. And anytime you see any new opportunity that will get you rich, you never tried it because you just think that everything is calm. In this video, we're going to really find out what these people really do because these people have a lot of money because I want to get rich, you want to get rich, everybody want to get rich and while all these people are making a lot of money and we don't have it because why because these people already have a secret and how do they do it that is what we are going to find out in this video this, this is the secret that we need to find among these people and see what they are doing because i don't want to live the rest of my life not being successful and that is be painful because i have a generation that will come up tomorrow and tell me that father what have you been doing when your mates are working so <laughs> i don't want that i want to get rich so let's really look deep into these things and see the four ways that these people are doing it we can add that to our life and there's a big difference between saving and investing the whole idea is you take some number each week and you put it to work as an investment you do it when you're young and you keep doing it throughout your whole life. So when you retire when you're 65 or so, you've got some serious money in the bank. The first rule on investment is don't lose. And the second rule on investment is don't forget the first rule. And that's all the rules there are. I mean, that uh, if you buy things for far below what they're worth and you buy a group of them, you basically don't lose. <sighs> should, we, should, 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 should we save? Wow. This one, they told us the power of saving and investing. And it is right. You have to be able to save and then invest yes it is good to invest and it's also it's good to save you must be able to like diversify your money in different way you must be able to diversify when saving and also when investing because you don't want to you know put all your money in your investment and then lose everything and still at the end you don't have money you know to actually use so it is good to save and invest yeah that is a good one there needs to be someone who is sort of the um, keeper and reiterator of the vision uh, because there's just a ton of work to do and a lot of times you know when you have to walk a thousand miles and you take the first step it looks like a long ways and it really helps if there's someone there saying well we're one step closer you know the, the goal definitely exists it's not just a mirage out there so in a thousand and one little and sometimes larger ways the vision needs to be reiterated. I do that a lot. Boy, I've forgotten how much work it actually is to start a company. It's a lot of work. And you've got to do everything. You've got to come up with a name. You've got to come up with a logo. You, I mean, in addition to designing the product, you've got to figure out what to design. You've got to figure out how you're going to get it to the marketplace. You've got to do a part number system. You've got to go get bank accounts. You've got to set up charts, general ledgers, get a management information system, get a little kitchen set up, get a coffee maker, all this stuff. Hi, I kind of like find it really challenging on this angle but you know starting a business from the start is going to be rough like you just hear what steve Jobs say a lot of process that you have to pass through but one thing i understand is that as long as you start doing it then it gets easier along the road ah, i just have to start my own business but first of all subscribe to this channel that that is a business for me okay subscribe to the channel all right but one thing i see is that when you actually start doing a business is kind of like challenging for the first but as time goes on it gets easier and easier and easier you study the market then you know what to do one thing i see in entrepreneur spirit is that they take risk risk is one of the important part of it you must be able to say and also adapt to you know things and then you move forward because when it comes to business you must be able to adapt to you know e economy season and everything so that is one thing i see uh entrepreneur spirit is kind of like you know you have to be optimistic then invest what is wrong i need to find it just metal i need a metal now i keep looking for metal if metal is the key if metal is the key that will actually make me to be rich then 
I will need to find a mentor. Where can I find a mentor? I believe I have a mentor. That means I'll be rich. I'll be rich like a Musk or Jeff Bezos. I'll be rich. I'll be rich. How can I find a good mentor? You ask a good question about how to find a good mentor, and that shows that you appreciate the power of a mentor, and so you're on your way. Um, so, there's a lot of sources of good advice and mentoring. Of course, if you can find someone um, who cares about you, cares and loves mentoring, and has that um, relationship so that you can have a dialogue with them, that's fantastic. How do you know who to have as a mentor? And Bruce Lee says that when the student is ready, the master will appear. And when you think about that quote, what does it mean? It means when the student has clarity as to what the student wants, then the right teacher will appear, meaning you will know who to pick once you know what you want. And then it's not just about knowing who to pick based on what you want. It's also about that person that you pick has to align with your values in life. I've had mentors before who influenced me in bad ways to buy materialistic things things that mean nothing. And then I've also had mentors who just are good people. So don't just find someone who's doing what you're doing. Find a mentor that's gone ahead of you. That's actually a good person. That's aligned with your values. Now that you know that mentor is everything, you just have to look for somebody that have done it before, that have been there, that will actually show you the right thing to do and that will make your journey be easy for you. And having the mentor is like everything that will make you become successful on that particular path or that goal that you are trying to achieve. Yeah. So if this is your first time coming to my channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I am Sky Impact. So you can follow me on any other social platform that you see my name. Please don't forget to subscribe. Give the video a like. See you on my next one. Sky Impact signing out. I have to go and find my metal. Bye-bye.